Mailbot app helps you send triggered personalized emails to customers based on their behavior and interests on your store. In this tutorial, we will show you how to create a customer segment. There are two main types of conditions you can set up to define a segment, attributes and event-based conditions. Contact attribute is a quality regarded as a characteristic inherent to a contact. Here is the list of all attributes you can assign to a segment. For example, if you want to filter all email subscribers, you can assign subscribe email attribute. True value counts in all new contacts who subscribe, sign up on your store, or are imported from third-party services like MailChimp. If contacts unsubscribe, their attribute value will be changed to false. Here, I will choose true to filter unsubscribers from this sample segment. The second type is event-based conditions. By choosing have or have not performed an event, you define actions that trigger respective campaigns when customers enter the segment. For example, you can choose this event-based option to filter customers who have viewed some items in a collection at least once. By clicking with data, you can choose specific products, collections for your condition. Then, set up frequency customers perform the action here. Ready to start building a sample segment with me now? Our target customers are subscribers who accepts marketing newsletters, have placed at least two orders with us, have viewed items in t-shirts collection, but never bought anything in that collection. Let's go. Now that we've picked all conditions to build our list, hit save segment and wait a few seconds for the list to be built. Latest segments will show up on top of the segment list here. The number of customers who enter a segment will be real-time auto-updated. Feel free to create as many segments as you want to. If you need any help checking your segments, we're just an email away. Contact us at Hi at bkeating.com for expert help. We wish you success.